This video is brought to you by Kinsta. Do you need a Google Maps API key so you can create address autocompletes and have interactive maps on your website or in your app? If so, then this video is for you. I'm going to show you step by step how to get a Google Maps API key. It's really simple, just takes a few minutes, and I'm going to show you how. Hi. I'm Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Before we get started, here's a quick word about this video sponsor. With Kinsta's lightning fast infrastructure powered by Google Cloud, your site loads in a flash. It stays stable, even under heavy traffic. Enjoy automatic daily backups, free malware removal, a global CDN, and 24 seven support from real WordPress experts, plus a custom Cloudflare integration. Kinsta's intuitive dashboard makes managing sites easy, even for teams. Whether you're running a WooCommerce store, client sites, or a growing blog, Kinsta has your back. Want to try hosting that works and works fast? Try Kinsta today. Click the link in the description down below. To create a Google Maps API key is really simple. Go to Google, type in Google Maps API. This Google Maps platform should be the first result. Click on Use API Keys. This is the help page that explains how to create the API key. Click on Go to the Credentials page. If you don't have a Google developer account yet, you're going to be prompted to make one. I'm going to sign into the one I have. They're free to create and you can access all the different APIs Google has. Some of them will cost money immediately. Some of them will cost money after a certain number of uses. The Google Maps API is one that you can get, uh, I think up to 10,000 free uses a month. And beyond that, you pay a few cents per use. I've got a bunch of projects here in my account. Click on create new project if you don't have one yet. I'm just going to call this one Google Maps API. I suggest you name this based on what your project is. This is just a random name to show you how to get the API key. Click on create. Just takes a moment. There, got our API key. Copy that. Go to the Google Maps platform. And now we have our API key. For the restrictions, I'm just going to choose maybe later. I don't want to set any restrictions right now. And now with the API key that we have, we can put it into a website or a plugin or what have you to start creating or using it with Google Maps. And here's some examples under Preview APIs. Click on Preview APIs, the button, and it shows you what you can use it for. So if we go to web over here, this is an example of how you can use the API key. If I start typing in coffee shop, this is right now as I'm typing coffee shop, it's creating these autocomplete suggestions. That is querying the API. This is using credits on our API account. If I click on it, that doesn't take a credit as far as I know, but the, the querying auto suggestions that takes credits. Let's look up Lego stores. Look at all the Lego stores. It's using credits right now to suggest these. There's also a places API. This just picks up addresses. So if I type in coffee shop again, it's going to fill out the address of the coffee shop just in this field, which we can then use in the website. But the way we're using it, we're just going to add it to a WordPress plugin and boom, we're going to have Google Maps integrated on our site with autocomplete. And that's how easy it is to create a Google Maps API key. If you got value from this video, make sure you click subscribe and hit the like button to let me know. And then check out this other video right on the screen right now, which shows you how to integrate the Google Maps API key with the WP Go Maps plugin for WordPress, which is the most popular maps creator in WordPress. And you happen to need a Google Maps API key to make that work. So check out that video. I'll see you there.